every single black amber sculpture will be just a little bit different. Um, and with the sculptures and the bottles, the little color on the bottom goes back to the different sculptures. Um, and if you ever have a customer that's interested in knowing what the other ones look like, um, and these pictures don't do it justice, but they're absolutely incredibly gorgeous in person. So these are all the different ones. So vanilla marble and the infidels. This was the original one that was created. Of the scents are the same or different? They're all different. So onyx pearl is always going to have the onyx pearl sculpture. And then, um, yeah, the onyx pearl. And then the liquid crystal is always going to have the liquid crystal. Um, and you guys have the, the black amber. What was the one we did? Do you remember what it looked like? It was like pointy on the top. It was pointy on the top. It was green? Okay, so it was Arctic Jade. Yeah. So this is the one that you had. And these range from $1,300 to $1,900. Um, and then with your question about what it dries down to in the base note, mm -hmm. even though all of the notes are written on here, um, I also brought this, which tells you what the top note is, the heart note is, and the base note. Um, and are you guys familiar with top heart, base note? Just real quick, um, if you've ever sprayed perfume on yourself and you're wondering five minutes later, why does this not smell like exactly what I thought it was going to smell like? Um, the easiest thing to do is pick up one of these bottles and read the ingredients, spray it on your skin, and let it start drying down on your skin naturally. Smell what it smells like initially when you spray it. And those are going to be all of the top notes that you're going to smell. And those are meant to start kind of disappearing and incorporating into the heart note and the base note. Um, the heart note is what it turns into a little bit later. The base note is going to be the last thing set. So although it's the mixture of all of the ingredients and all of the notes, the base note is generally the one that you're going to end up with. So if there's something in the base note that maybe you don't like, um, always wear the perfume for a little bit on your skin. See how it mixes with your own chemicals, your own oils. Um, but those are generally the ones, so if you like a base note in a perfume, you're generally going to like wearing it all day long. Any other questions? You know, I'm just going to ask a question because we carry the Tom Ford line and the, okay. and the um, Chanel line. And yeah. I thought the Chanel, I thought we had clinics and I thought they used also flowers and I mean, you can even bring to department stores, so I don't know if that's you consider okay. those department store brands or you consider them, or what category you put them in. Okay. Or like a so, Nicotale, which is supposed to be a higher end. Absolutely. Um, so they might be using, and I'm not going to speak for them, but what I would assume, and generally when we're talking about the differentiation between synthetic and natural essential oils, is that they could be using part of them. They might be using, let's say there's 20 notes in the perfume. It could be that the top two notes, and those might be the main ingredients, are essential oils. Um, so that could be why they're referring to it. I could say that a perfume is essential oil based, but there could be notes in there that are synthetic. So it could also be, let's say, I could say that something has essential oils in it, but 90% of the oils are synthetic and 20% or 10% are actual essential oils, and they could still say it's essential oil based. Um, I think the easiest way of thinking about it is if somebody's producing millions of bottles, manufacturing them by machines versus hand bottled perfumes, it's easier to assume that most of the ingredients are going to be synthetic. Um, and I'm not speaking for those brands specifically. I don't know exactly what they use. Um, for example, although that the majority of these oils are essential oils, there are some synthetic, as I said, there are some ingredients that you can't do synthetic mm -hmm. on. Um, and there are certain only supplies of certain flowers. So maybe what they're doing is maybe using a more common type of rose, for example, where it is more readily available, easier to grow in a specific perfume, whereas um, there's a perfume in the Nazamata line that he um, only uses these jasmines from the south of France that have to be picked at night in these tents, and it takes a thousand jasmines to create one bottle. So that's where the differences are. Um, so absolutely, they could be using essential oils. Um, it's just easier to think that a celebrity line is probably not going to be, you know, they're in there to get in, get out. They want something that can be easily manufactured uh, by a factory. Where 
a lot of these ones are going to be smaller houses. They're not mass distributed. Um, Barney's is the mass distribution of this, and that's eight stores. So, and there's scents in there where I don't even have enough if I wanted to open up a, a sack store and move into it. Um, does that answer the question? Because I don't want you guys to go around thinking that these lines, if they're telling you it's got essential oils in it, um, maybe ask them what percent is essential oils. Are there ingredients that we could know? Because um, I know that I've got lines that, for a fact, um, the ingredients that they list that are in the perfume are all essential oils. Whereas um, maybe they're not listing the notes. Or I think I would just ask specifically if you guys ever have a training with them again, or um, if you have contact information, just maybe getting more information about it. Because it could be a rose perfume that the rose is an essential oil, but the other 20 ingredients aren't. So when they say essential oil, Absolutely, and I would um, definitely assume that an Iniquital is going to be, Iniquital is in the same lines as um, the niche fragrances, whereas Chanel is definitely going to be more mass. Okay. Um, but then there's different categories in Chanel. I mean, their jackets aren't produced the same way as the perfumes are, and it depends on who's distributing it and manufacturing. I don't want you guys going thinking that those aren't good quality. Everything has its customer and its place in, um, in fashion and the industry. Any other questions? Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.